myths. History. Just different ways to interpret the past. Thousands of years of humanity's thoughts and beliefs scattered and buried. Just waiting to be found. You can't just run away from your problems, Indiana. Watch me. Throughout history, mankind has built sites of great spiritual significance. If you were to draw a line, through these ancient sites around the globe, you get a perfectly aligned circle. I've had run-ins with these guys before. Trust me, it ain't a walk in the park. Okay then, let's see if you can keep up. What do you mean if I can keep up? Patron of the fallen angels, protector of the Chukulimani, the great circle.
portal again. Where does it lead to? Holy shit! No! It's the only way out! Ah! No! Damn it! Hello, Sam. Your night charts were running wild. Bad dreams again? Yeah, same. Any good news today, Toby? I've been trying to reach the Earth base, but I failed again. I'll keep trying. I'm having a goddamn Groundhog Day every day for a week now. Time for daily. My name is Sam Walker, and it's the seventh day since I lost contact with the Earth base. The escort team was planned to come and get me precisely a week ago, yet there's no spacecraft visible on the radar. The connection's still broken. If I only knew Rocky's safe and getting better, but all I can do now is just wait. I wish I was somewhere else. How about playing a ball game, Sam? Show me what you got, Sam! Success! Told you I was easy on you. Still in the game. Well... I swore to protect this island with my life. But now the Mongols have stolen our home. Killed our samurai. I will kill them all. He's the one who trained our army, who grew us into an empire. I don't know where he's from, but if you think you can stop him, you're already dead. save his own.
you found. Ah, it's old. It looks like stone, but it isn't. It's uh, it's too perfectly coarse. Like it, it wanted to be the shape. I think it was built for the Tempest, or, or maybe the other way around. Is there a way in? Well, it appears to be laid out like a ziggurat. Show me. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, yes. Follow me. Hey, inform the boy. You all want to know about this. Major General, congratulations. Your work in the field speaks for itself. Impressive. Very impressive. You may call me Alex. We have a lot of work to do. For too long, we have been idle as GDF lays claim to the Tempest that is rightfully ours. Our birthright. This responsibility fell to me. And with every fiber of my being, I swore that I would lead our people towards the destiny that my father had envisioned. I will make him proud. Our destiny begins today. Our future will be incandescent. And you will have the honor of lighting the touch paper. <laughs> Don't stand too close.
of the Creator. Listening to the echoes of a written story. See. The world will collapse. And while you stand in the midst of nothingness, searching for light and the darkness, only grasping the truth in the final reckoning, Come on now! Teddy, for fuck's sake!
kept on it. The misery's off, the energy's on it. I'm feeling strong. Yeah, something's evolving. If I'm being honest, nothing can stop me. I'm feeling godly. Stop me!
Takes your hands and warm the whole side of the pillow. I'm there for you, you're there for me. I'm the song, the song you sing as they march outside our window. I'm the heart to find. The MISIS defense tactics have improved markedly since our recent attacks. They're spreading their trenches all along the front line, making it difficult for our army to mount a major offensive. I don't intend to stay here long. I've had enough of trench warfare since the Colonial War. While clearing enemy positions, you'll come across a small village. You'll need to fortify your position. Richtung eingestellt! Los, los! Enemy combat vehicles stuck in the mud have been spotted in the vicinity of the village. We do not have time to retrieve them. Moreover, we cannot allow the enemy to use Vorrücken. them in the future. Find and destroy these tin cans. Bewegen, bewegen! Marschieren, marschieren, vorwärts! Get 
例の点やっぱ幽霊列車9号線の伝説に関わってるよなみんなの幻想がリアルになることがルールなんだ世界がマジでぐちゃぐちゃだ私最後までギュラでいられるのかしら願いが叶いやすいように私が空に流れ星を流してあげるでもジャイアントと隕石がこの街を滅ぼすって言われてたぞまだわからないのか真の悪役はお前たちだこの街を破壊したのはお前たちだろうさあ終焉を楽しもうじゃないか<笑>つまりこれで終わりってことねまだ負けを認める時じゃない Glory fades through time in tombs of somber gray. You too want to be an immortal? Master, are there more good folks in the world or bad? More good, of course. Then why is there always suffering? And why do the bad folks always win? Because goodness without teeth punishes not. It only foments evil. Cleanse the world with blood and grow lotuses in it. That is your destiny. The Keeper of the New West, welcome the Destined One. The Destined One who doesn't even know what he's destined for? Those old rascals, they surely know how to name. Tell me, is my kind destined for extermination? You're driven by glory, not destiny. So this is the face of the Destined One. It will fit me just as well. Bathed in blood, yet preaching peace. Oh, you immortals, pray enlighten me. What justifies your superiority?
Он мучился? Нет. Это хорошо. Он этого не заслужил. А пулю заслужил. Жаль, что ты так с ним поступил. Мне тоже. Считаешь, я не думал, как обойтись без его смерти? Она не могла быть свободна, пока он жил. Зато теперь посмотри на нее. Нет, Скиф. Я не отдам ее никому. Сона дала мне жизнь. Новую жизнь. Жизнь, которую я готов вернуть, если потребуется. Я буду защищать ее. Всегда. Похоже, пора. И куда ты теперь? В Припять. Нужно с ним поговорить. I know you may not want to be here, but sometimes we get a chance to do something.
off your arse! And you ain't paid your nugs yet?
Let yourself unwind through the joy of making something pretty in a small delightful building game. There is no management, no combat, no wrong answers. Just kick back, doodle some castles, and turn forgotten meadows into lovable dioramas. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy, but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. Hey, Vess. The underworld's favorite new scoundrel. Fuck. We meet at last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. You crossed their boss, Sliro, and now he wants you gone. Rob his fortune and buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. I'm in. Here you live and die by your reputation. You want to survive? Know the players. Hey, you're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Daba, right? Look, don't try anything. I got a whole crew surrounding the. Okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Doing what we have to, to survive. This job is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. And the right ship. in the Outer Rim. She's more connected than you let on, Sliro. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The Outer Rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. We aim to offer a truly rich environment with points of interest that tell the story of Rooted. 
Located halfway between a solo narrative game and an open world PvP, the oppressive atmosphere of the remnants of the old world and the former civilization is at the heart of the game. You'll need to explore this world to ensure your survival, develop your skills to improve your equipment and access still infected areas. All the remains of the past civilization will allow you to equip yourself, secure yourself, but also to fight. Enemies will attack you because they want your resources, your flesh, or simply because they are programmed to. Being with the team allows us to create meaningful zones. We first envisioned them in a clean version, pre-apocalypse. We then add two layers of degradation, one related to the apocalypse and therefore we reflect on how this place could have been impacted by the event. The monastery is a perfect example with initially calm living place, then taken over by the army to help the monks cope with the massive influx of population that couldn't be taken care of in overcrowded hospitals. And the other layer, when everyone has finally died from contamination and there are only survivors moving along. What we're building is, we're calling it the social sandbox. We're putting the least amount of barriers to entry on, on how you can actually interact with the other players. Uh, where most MMOs actually put a lot of blocks in how you can cooperate with the other players, and we're fundamentally different. So from the first minute when you start playing the game, you will be able to do everything you imagine with the other players. So you can trade, other people can actually help you. You can literally go onto a like dungeon raid from the very beginning of like you're starting the journey in the, in the game should you find people who actually help you to do that. What we want to create an environment that actually really incentivizes people to play the game the way they like. And for some, actually like just going out to the wood and like cutting down the forest is something that gives you a sense of achievement because you know 
the coal that you're helping to produce actually is valuable for the guild. Some people will absolutely prefer to just go to the dungeons. They couldn't care less about the coal production, but these players as well still depend on each other. Where there's valuables to bring from the dungeon, there's valuables to bring from the forest, and even the PvP players, they will be able to produce items that are only available through the PvP, but they will depend on the other players as well. So if you want to help somebody give them items or like build something together, we always actually like really try to insert button device and like never put anything that prevents people from doing that. And the things we want to achieve with this are things like when a new player signs up, rather than them being something that for the experienced people, it being very difficult to play with that new player, we actually want that new player to be a very valuable commodity to the, the existing old guilds. So you actually want to get the new people into the guild because they can help you immediately. Um, so for example, crafting the armors, you obviously need a lot of coal to be able to do the blacksmithing. It doesn't matter who you are, what you've done, or where you came from. We need raiders who can deliver the goods. If you want to live here, you need to contribute. Beware of the machines. Beware of raiders who prey on others. And just like them, you're the one living with the choices you make. There are no rules out there, so watch your back. Mainland United States. At this time, it is not known who this force represents. Massive power failures have been reported across the United States. The following states are affected. New York, Maryland, Virginia, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Florida, Illinois, Michigan, Texas, Colorado, Nevada, California, Oregon, Washington State, and the District of Columbia. For those currently residing in these states, if you are currently in an urban area, immediately make your way into a sturdy building with underground shelter. If you cannot reach an underground shelter, take cover in a low-story building in a central room, such as hallways or bathrooms. For those in rural areas, evacuate to designated disaster shelters in your area. Residents in the affected area should have enough food and drinkable water to last a minimum of two weeks. Avoid windows and board them if possible. Sheets and paper are also effective at covering windows. The National Guard, in accordance with the Homeland Defense Act, have been put into a state of level one readiness to respond to the developing emergency. All residents are advised to avoid urban areas, if not already in them, and to avoid all major highways and intersections to allow military and emergency services to respond quickly to emergencies in your local area. A state of martial law is in effect for the entire continental United States. A curfew has been put in place for all states. Follow instructions from your local authorities and National Guard elements. Looting and civil unrest will not be tolerated. The President of the United States has issued a nationwide state of emergency. The President will address the nation shortly after convening with National Crisis Management Advisors and the military commanding staff to provide additional important information. If your area is not yet affected by power failures, Hero. No 
magic hand. No ancient prophecy. The kind of person they'll never see coming. We've got your back. I've got your back. Demons, dragons, dark spawn. Even the dread wolf. I knew him as Solus, a thoughtful mage obsessed with dreams. But long ago, he had a different name. Ven Harel, the Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny, depending on which story you believe. In his final fight with the elven gods, Solus imprisoned them and created a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. But now... Just run away? make any difference at the end of the day. You know better than anyone else. That no one could escape. Be, that's all. Crack of down, I move on my way. You don't have to try that hard, just to pray.
your candy striped lips. For nighttime comes, the soft beat of starlings echo like distant drums. Breathe more still. Close your empty, heavy eyes. Even the stars above are but half remembered lies. Sleep, fool child, and while you sleep, waken and see the world that has been taken. Once swamps return to Goblin Kin, once seven return to ten. When she's towers and stores, stone tremble to sarcanic roars. When the spirit blooms in Tyre, when Diane bathes in fire, all truth and knowledge known unlearn. Once lost and wayward dreams return. You know, lad, those bastards can poison you with a stench alone. Ugh, Empress Teeth. Damocles, we are inserting into the jamming radius now. Understood. Damocles out. Concern yourself with me, Lieutenant. Disappear like that again, and you'll be facing the Master of the Watch. I understand. Sir, why did you not tell us of your penance earlier? It was not your business. And now it is. You have made it so, through suspicion and intrigue. Aside. The relay has 
is ahead, through the arch.
Lots. Come on, people, get to work. God, you made it out alive. Who are you? What is this place? You don't recognize my voice? I don't recognize a goddamn thing. Answer my questions. This place is an abandoned monolith built by the Rosetta Corporation. It housed one of the many silver gates that gave Rosetta access to Rift Space, another dimension of space and time. A another dimension? Yeah. So, what are you exactly? An A.I.? No. No. You and I belong to a group called the Mayflies. We were on a military raid when something went very wrong. And you don't remember anything about what happened to us? All I remember is that we were fighting together, side by side, when everything went black. Look, you have a ton of questions you want answers to. So do I. If we work together, maybe we can survive long enough to learn the truth about what happened. Interesting? Yeah. I'm interested. Wait, survive what exactly? Deviants and deviations for starters. They're in here right now. You'll see. Come on, let's go find a way out.
going to go. Why now? This is the first time we've visited this camp. Let's have a closer look. Enemies discovered in the surrounding room. It looks like the Vargas have detected us. In the heart of Hong Kong Island, where dreams become reality, Radiant has created an elite level of luxury lifestyle. Few know of Radiant's ultimate objective. Besides prestige and a love of cars, they value the aspects money simply cannot buy. Automotive excellence is more than the sum of its parts. It provides a feeling, an essence that cannot be captured in mere words. It is an extension of you. Luxury extent.
What if you could change the decisions you regret in your life and see the outcomes of those choices with your very own eyes? The Altars tells the story of Jan Dolsky, a simple miner who survived a crash landing on a hostile planet. He quickly realizes that what was supposed to be a lifetime job opportunity turns into a desperate fight for his life. Jan will need to handle a large mobile base that's designed to be operated by an entire team of qualified personnel. Even worse, the planet Jan landed on revolves around the deadly scorching star. Escaping the sunrise is crucial for survival. Despite his best efforts, Jan simply lacks the time and skills to deal with all these problems on his own. But the planet Jan is stranded on is home to a mysterious substance called Rapidium. With its use and the help of the quantum computer on board, Jan is able to create alternative versions of himself. The Alters. Each one of them is the result of altering a crucial decision from Jan's past. The altars are a reflection of the questions he asks himself. What if I never left my hometown? What if I didn't drop out of college? What if I fought harder to save my marriage? Our altars have the necessary... This isn't the same city you saw last time you visited, kid. Navalis is changing in front of our eyes. This is a bolder city, a brighter city. More people to meet, more things to do. More electric night. Last time you were here, this was all a dream. Your old pal Thaddeus is retiring. You can have my old life. It doesn't fit me anymore. I'm leaving you a tasty little business venture, a noodle stand. Work hard and maybe one day you'll climb so high, you'll be above the rain. There's more to this city than business. Follow the rules or break them all. Grow your own paradise in the greenhouses. Sail a boat out and cast your line into the forbidden seas. You might find more than fish. I've heard the rumors. Serial killer? Don't worry too much. I'm sure you're safe. My time is up, kid. Now get out there. The city is waiting. She sings like morning, my sister true. She loves like noon. 
Vas-y, vas-y, avance, c'est moi je suis dans le bas. Dans la porte. Ok, on est bien là, ok On campe ici, <rire> on défend nos positions. Oh, attends, attends, je pique. La grotte, mais Léo Putain Tu vois, il y a de la neige sur mon pont.
Take care, good host. Watch out, Nor. Good work, Katie. Do those statues look like you? They were probably inspired by one of my visits. I traveled to the above when the great below got too much to bear. People don't like you very much, do they? 
sent here to the living lands by an emperor who couldn't bother to come himself. To investigate some plague that seems to be corrupting our very souls. You want us to trust you. But the truth is, you scare us. The way you fight. The power you wield. The secrets you keep. You're either here to save us. Or destroy us. But now that Do you remember what our world was before? Before the Sundering. Before the war. Before the darkness. Do you remember? You will.
cities are strategically spread across cliffs, shores, mountains and even underground in a vast 2016 square kilometre land. In this world, seasons and weather conditions like rain and snow interact with your character as well as objects. Plants and some animals may decline in number in certain climates. Some areas may be subjected to floods and some may surface as a result of drafts. All of these are some of the elements that make up Quinfall's alive and dynamic world. Those who find themselves in Quinfall will not encounter a classic MMORPG experience. In Quinfall, you can visit shops and taverns run by other players, play board games or mini games with others. I've lived in this forest all my life. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that a ranger must never miss. A beast will hunt you. But it is the cruelty of man I fear. I can't take your there is no truly escaping the Count's justice. Your sentence is to be hanged from the neck until dead. Let your souls feed the first ones, and your bodies feed the land. After her! This exile has changed me. No more running. No more fear. You won't get away this time. I will put an end to this madness.
town is incalculable. Restless dreams. I see that town. Silent Hill.
Cut the power! Now! It is too late, my friend. We done. just like the real world, except each loss becomes a lesson for your next deployment. We're hit. Carry her down. Hang in. We're on our way. Hostile strike craft engaging. We need cover. Moving to guard. We're inbound. Hostile eliminated. Each victory will grant you experience points to unlock artifacts and starting fleets. The enemy is cunning and will adapt to overwhelm you. We have a lock. Light him up. Good shot. Taking fire. Steady, I'm coming around. Direct hit. That did it.
You can give a man a gun and make him your weapon. But some men, even unarmed, are like the edge of a knife. You must learn to wield them, to sheathe them when you need. Never forget, caution is prudent. Knives are razor sharp. Sometimes, you need to help discriminate friend from foe.